Today I will be showing you how I made my intro. Here's a small clip of it before we begin this tutorial. Also, if this tutorial helped you guys, please like and subscribe. Hey guys, I want the file, want the widescreen. Once you select that, you go to widescreen, then you go into your size, and then you can make a smaller, bigger if you want. Right now, I'm double clicking it, I'm taking that out, and then I'm going to insert, and then going to choose. Once you do that, you can choose whatever icons or pictures or anything like that as you can see then I'm scrolling and I'm picking something out and I'm looking for my icon and I'm gonna put that on there now I found it now I'm gonna post that one on there and as you can see the screen will be big so that size will be you can minimize the size you can make it big or small however you want so we do that and I'm bringing it back down make sure it's in the middle as you can see and then now I'm going to rise that up and then click delete on that one but right now I'm not going to do that I'm checking to show you how the shadows look underneath the picture as you can see so I'm doing that and I like this one and then you can go to um, animate and then you can hit the add. That helps you like start your program, whatever you're trying to do. And I'll show you right now. Um, that's the five bit. That's the move in. And then the fireworks. I like that one. And then it got the Avon. That's when it comes down and just boom. Like that, that's hot. That's what you saw in my intro. Um, yeah, then now you're going to have to write your, your your name. So that's what I'm doing right now, writing my whole name. And then all your social medias, you could put that on there, just spray them out. I like to put it together, so once I put them together, I know when I do the effects, it'll, it'll go all together, you know what I'm saying, instead of doing one by one, because I think that takes too long. So that's why I did it like that. As you can see, I'm post. I'm writing it down. All right. So once I get that done, I'm going to look space that out so I can put my um icons in there for my Facebook, Instagram, and short and Snapchat. So when you go to insert, you like you did before, then you look in whatever that you have, download or save, you pick um, icon out, and then you put it back in there just the same way you did with the pictures on the first one. So now I got my Facebook icon, so I'm making that small so it could fit into my intro. Don't need to fix it like you can make it however you want guys like I'm not an expert I'm new to this as well but I'm learning and I learn every day so when I learn every day the better I get that's how it is it's just like you working in the gym that's you put all that work and you doing what you're doing and you get the progress and you become good it's the same thing as you're editing and filming it's the still the same thing so that's what I'm doing and and I love what I'm doing. So right now I'm making the Snapchat a smaller but it's right between. So what I do, I I hit the space button so it could be a little space between. That's my little trick. And then I move the icon over. So it could be right in place. And I'm gonna have to move the Facebook icon as well. So I get everything in the middle. So, 
back again at insert choose and then find your next icon for your social media now I'm just minimizing that making sure it fits and I'm gonna have to do the same thing space it out So once I space it out and, and it's all good, how I want it to be, then I'm gonna keep on messing around with it until I make sure it's right and good. And then I'm gonna leave it right there. Now you see, how, you see how I got it together like that and I'll just pull it back. That's how I do it. And putting it to like, like I said, if you just separate in each, it's too much work. So now I'm looking for an effect. You can see that. I'm seeing another one and another one. I like that one, so I'm gonna have to go with that. And you guys, you could actually change whatever you want from there too. I'm just like, I just stick with that one because that's what I like. So now I'm going to do the Facebook icon. I'm trying to check it out to see which one I like. So now I'm going to the Snapchat and then now just Snapchat and Instagram I did. So now I'm doing the Snapchat. I'm about to do the same exact ones. Just organize them, make sure it's good, make sure it's leveled how you want it to be, and then it should be straight and good. So now I got it how I want it to be, so now I'm going to choose another effect. Now this is the build-in. The building is like when you first start your program, how you want it to come out. That's the building on the first one. And then now I'm just picking which one after which after what. So I'll just put it up together. And then once I do that, make sure you click on within or after. As you can see, when I'm going to do that soon. But right now I'm organizing my icons and letters and stuff like that. So now I'm picking the first icon now. I see the first one is good, so second, third, and fourth, and fifth. And so the first one is good, so I'm going to have to put that one after. So the second one, you click on that, you put in after or within. I think it's yeah, after. So you do the same thing within, with all of them, with the letters, like the names, the icons. And you put it within because you want them all to come out at the same time. Now the last one is the whole letters. You're going to do that. That's after. So now I'm going to test it out to see what it looks like. Nice. So now I'm going to make it bigger and show you guys how it looks. Right on. So now you can do more with your other stuff like the intro, and outro, um, your end cards. You can do all that with, with this application is called Keynote. To do this, if you have a Mac, you're good. Like you could do this with your Mac. You could do this with your iPhone as well. But I think the iPhone is kind of too hard to do. 
But if you're used to it, learning doing that, you could do it. But I'm easy. I like to do it on my phone, but I rather just do it on the computer. So I'm showing you how I'm doing this on the computer. It's much easier. So all you need for this program to do, you need is an iMovie and you need Keynotes. That's the only thing you need, Keynotes. That's the application that I use to do this program. Hope this helped you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, see you on the next one. And this is my tutorial on how I made my intro. There's a small clip of that. That's all I just did. I was just going more into details and showing how I put the sounds together and this and that. I did all that. So you could go off of iMovie and find a sound or anything like that and just put it on together and matches that. And it's easy and simple just like that. All right. Hope you guys like that video. Give this video a thumbs up again. Like, comment, let me know what you think about it. Subscribe, also subscribe, you know. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching again. And see you on the next one. Bye-bye.